Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring uh, some battles uh, from this uh, very talented trainer uh, featuring Lugia, Lantern, and Amphros uh, flying double electric in the Johto Cup. So pretty interesting uh, team. I think there's a lot of really interesting electric types. Uh, obviously uh, Lugia weak, like not weak, like uh, doesn't do well against uh, Skarmory which is obviously number one ranked Pokemon in the meta. And they come into Azumarill, and we're going to see this. It's actually Shadow Am uh, Amphros, I actually didn't realize that, uh, which is both better and worse here. I actually would have preferred seeing the um, uh, Lant like the Amphros, the Lantern go into the Azumarill, but this is fine too. Uh, showing off the Amphros early. Uh, unfortunately, Azumarill is a tank here. Uh, I, I actually, I, don't, I think the Amphros would survive that, but I didn't want to take any risks. Uh, which makes sense. Uh, should be able to get the shield back. Uh, Heracross is pretty glassy. Has a little bit tankier than uh, than Macham, uh, but not too much. And gonna throw another Thunder Punch here. We're gonna see whether or not they're gonna shield or whether or not they're gonna try to two shield their whatever Pokemon they have in the back. Oh man, this Amphros is going absolute ham here, and gonna be able to land another Thunder Punch. I'm assuming they don't shield. Yeah, there's no point in shielding there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, gonna go for the arrow blast. Should be able to survive the thunderbolt, and uh, we're looking pretty good right now. Gonna go for uh the arrow blast, and uh, it's gonna do quite a bit of damage if it goes unshielded. If it does go shielded, it can just switch in thunderbolt. Looking pretty good right now. Uh, they do end up shielding. Gonna 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 go for the thunderbolt. I don't think the thunderbolt will KO. Um, uh, from this health range, uh, it should just barely not KO, but should be able to spark down, uh, before the opposing lantern can get to another move. Uh, it's actually gonna be really close here. Uh, well, actually, probably will survive another thunderbolt, uh, just barely, and to get a spark through. Uh, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a simul. Oh, actually, not not simul KO, and able to spark down there. Very nice play. Yeah, I would have preferred seeing the. And, but I guess uh, I'm not sure. All right, so this is oh they actually decide to switch out themselves. Uh, gonna go into Amphros versus Grand Bull here. Uh, gonna have to shield this. Uh, they do close combat here. Very interesting. They decide to go. Oh, it's Snarl. It's Snarl. Okay, it's not a uh, not a uh, charm. Okay, makes sense. They go for double close combat. Gonna look to farm down. Very nice. Did burn two shields on um, uh, on the Amphros again, so we're gonna see how this is gonna play out. Gonna go for the Focus Blast, and we're gonna see whether or not they're gonna shield or not. They actually do shield. Should be able to land a Thunder Punch before uh, before fainting. Might even be able to. Mm, I don't know. We're doing close there. Um, yeah, I oh, okay. They end up throwing there, so that that's fine. I think they would have made it to the focus blast if they committed to it. Uh, but this is looking all right here. Just gonna take the the energy on um on Lugia. Uh, this rock team doesn't do that much damage. Uh, should be able to. Okay, they're gonna. Okay, interesting. Gonna throw the arrow blast even though they're debuffed, but they're they're looking pretty good right now. I guess they're afraid of the EQ. Uh, and uh, now they're not even <laughs> not even remotely worried about it. Uh, it's a very nice play. All right, we're gonna have Lugia into whoa. Okay, Shadow Pilos one, very interesting Pokemon. Definitely a huge core breaker for the team. Actually, does really well against the entire team. Honestly, uh, this is looking pretty rough right now. Probably gonna do one more Dragon Tail then throw Sky Attack. Hey, this is a giant core breaker. Gonna. Throw on sync. Um, they should be at like 10 right now. So two more. So they should get after this dragon tail. Okay. It looks like they're farming up a little bit here. Gonna shield again. Uh, they do throw it to four. So they should be uh, three away uh, from the next one. Which is gonna be two dragon tails. Yeah, they should get it. Okay, looks like they're gonna farm up a little bit here. Gonna go into Amphros. And look to Thunder Punch. Uh, I'm assuming this Skarmory is going to go for the Brave Bird, which honestly might KO Shadow Amphros. 
Oh, actually, no. It doesn't look like they're going to get there. It should just be a sky attack here. Um, the pilot one isn't quite out of move yet. And this Ampharos is uh, two away, one away. So, oh, actually, is that a move? Okay. Okay, that's totally fine, though. Uh, should be able to spark down. Yeah, should be able to spark down. This is looking really good right now. And they decide to, to leave the match, realizing that uh, this is game over. Very, very nice play. All right, we're going to have Lugia into Azumarill. Going to probably safe switch to Ampharos here. Yeah, going to immediately safe swap. Going to be met by Umbreon. Very interesting uh, switch here. Going to go for the Focus Blast. This is going to do a tremendous amount of damage if they let this through. We're going to see whether or not they are going to let this through. They do not. Um, probably two foul plays will KO. Uh, okay, going to shield one. And... Okay, uh, should be able to survive. Oh, going to double shield here. Very interesting. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this is a little bit awkward here. They definitely will survive a foul play. Um, going to go for the bait. We're going to see whether or not they're going to shield. And going to be able to reach the focus blast here. Very nice play. Um, let, let's see how the opponent decides to... Play after the switch are they actually coming into a zoom roll oh man okay not able to make it to the move but it's totally fine uh a zoom roll really can't hurt lantern too much this is looking pretty good right now uh this is likely a play rough uh, no reason not to run a play rough in this meta and i'm uh, gonna uh, count probably uh, just do a few more sparks then throw i don't think this will ko uh a zoom roll either but you just make sure they don't want to catch the thunderbolt on like a ground type or something could probably look to spark down if they like to stay in but i'm assuming they're going to switch oh my gosh they're actually staying here very interesting okay they come to skarmory here oh my gosh double week to electric that is kind of a crazy team here uh and uh this this is looking pretty good for the lantern and they decide to, to leave the match double electric way too strong for the team really excellent play uh, with the Amphros versus Umbreon matchup. Uh, very well done. All right, we're going to have Lugia into Meganium, exactly where you want to see it. And they're going to come into Raikou. Okay, this is a very awkward situation here. This is extremely... I, I think they have Thundershock, too, on their Raikou. Is that right? Yeah, it is Thundershock. Very interesting. Um, I really don't think this Amphros can uh, beat this Raikou, but... We'll see. Um, obviously, going to shield this again. Really needs to win the the switch here. Uh, looks like it's going to be able to outpace it to this third one here. It's just kind of crazy. Um, obviously, it's um, okay. They actually let it go. Going to go for the focus blast. Uh, I think that's the correct play here. And this is going to do a lot of damage to Meganium. I'm sorry, the Meganium to actually throw beforehand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is that is huge damage. Um, but honestly, still in a little bit of trouble here. Has to let, unfortunately let themselves get farmed down. Really has not much choice here. And they're at 100 energy right now. Uh, this blast burn doesn't KO. Uh, they need to get. They need to throw both blast burns here. Um, and the, because they throw both blast burns, uh, that means the uh, they will not be able to make it to the solar beam before this lantern can make it to a thunderbolt. And this is absolutely GG here. Not even gonna be able to make it to a blast burn here. Honestly, if they would did one incinerate, no, they need to do two incinerates, which they would take a sky attack in. Uh, but really, really nice play there. Obviously, the Raikou was was ultra tricky there, but um, still worked out fine. All right, we're gonna have uh, Lugia into. Quag Sire. Uh, obviously, the Stone Age is going to do quite a bit of damage, but uh, honestly, Lugia is pretty tanky. Actually, going to shield this. It makes sense to shield this too, just because this is the your best answer to it. Going to at least potentially bluff the um, Arrow Blast. Didn't quite go up to it. Uh, I doubt they're going to shield. Yeah, and then they'll reach the Stone Edge. Probably going to let this go. Probably do three more than throw. One to okay gonna do two more than throw i think uh one more was safe um that's okay and they come into skarmory and then here comes ariados okay this is looking all right though um 
because you really don't need any shields to beat Skarmory with Lantern. Yeah. Well, if they have like a two to one shield advantage, then they probably can win. But this, sh okay, they're actually gonna shield here. Interesting. They do lunge. Gonna be able to land the thunder punch. They shield as well. Um, should be able to survive a lunge here. I don't think this will KO. It almost certainly will not. And should be able to land a thunder punch, which almost certainly will not KO either. Because they are um, a double debuff at this point in time. Oh, okay. I guess we'll we will not see the end of that match. I'm assuming it was over. And I'm assuming they won. Okay, this is obviously a very tricky lead here. Gonna uh potentially Okay, yeah, they're gonna throw in the middle there. Gonna shield. And then probably look to throw the arrow blast. Okay, gonna build up a lot of energy here. Oh man, they're gonna hydro pump here. Gonna have to shield. This is uh, looking really tricky right now. They do throw the hydro pump. Oh, they come into jump bluff. Uh, this is okay though. Um, and it's pretty neutral matchup. They're both throwing neutral moves, bullet seats, and likely the energy ball. Obviously, not gonna throw the uh, acrobat. And is I don't know if this energy ball is enough to KO. I don't think so. And um. Okay, gonna have to throw for sure. There's no way this Ampharos can farm down. And we're gonna see how they're gonna play this. Okay, gonna look to farm down. Very nice before they make a turn move. And here comes the here comes the lantern. And we're gonna see how they're gonna play this out. Ooh, that does a huge amount of damage. Here comes the Waba Fed. Okay. Okay, Waba Fed. I'm not really sure what you're doing here. Uh, you, Lugia does double resist the counters. Obviously, the return will do a decent amount, but this thing is ultra, ultra tanky. Yeah, are they, is this the return already, or is this a mirror coat? Oh, this is the return already. Okay, very nice. And gonna look to throw the sky attack, and uh, they're certainly gonna have to shield at this point in time. And this is looking really good right now. Uh, there's no way they can counter down. Uh, I'm assuming they mirror coat here. And uh, this is looking very nice. We can go into Lantern, and Lantern can basically just uh, spark this uh, wall buffet all the way down. Very nice anticipation there. Uh, unfortunately, they were not able to get any damage off, so it was probably better for them just to stay, but it uh, worked out perfectly fine. And we're going to go into this uh, next game here, and we're going to see Lugia into him on top, exactly where you want to see it. Well, the back line is not that bad against it. Interesting, they decide to stay. Should be able to reach the Sky Attack before they can reach the Stone Edge. Uh, the Him on top should be able to survive the Sky Attack and still get off the... Okay, they decide to shield. Um, almost certainly will shield because uh, I don't think they'll bait. No reason for them to bait unless they're going to bail. Okay, they come into Ariados here. Interesting play. And they decide to probably just going to let this go. The him on top does have a lot of energy here. So this is a little bit problematic, but that's okay. Should be able to farm down. And we're going to see what they're going to come into. Probably going to go straight to Ampharos here. I like this play. And they go into... Okay, this is looking pretty all right. Uh, interesting they didn't... Okay, going to throw the Thunder Punch. Uh, basically, when they get to the Hydro... And we're going to see whether or not they're going to shield. Hmm. Um, let's see if they bait or not. They actually do bait. And going to look to land the Focus Blast onto this uh, Lantern. Obviously does a tremendous amount more damage uh, than the Thunder Punch. And this is looking really good right now. Going to be able to land the Thunder Punch and take him on top back to dance school. Because uh, you just been hit by the Thunder Punch. <laughs> All right. All right. These are um, pretty solid team, on it, honestly. Obviously, Lugia in Great League is pretty hard to get. I'm sure there's like, okay, another him on top. Him on top is really interesting because it does have the fighting, flying coverage. And they come into Celebi here. This is uh, kind of crazy here. Little do they, what are they going to do? Uh, I guess Celebi knows Dazzling Gleam. 
Um, hmm. Maybe they've already done the Joe Tahor and uh, I don't. Oh, C bomb here. Okay, C bomb psychic. Uh, so shouldn't need to worry about anything here, unless they're running a. Uh... Oh, okay, it has leaf storm. Okay, um, interesting. Gonna look to farm it all the way down. Okay, very nice. And gonna go for the uh, sky attack. Let's see if they decide to shield or not. Oh, they decide not to shield. It's actually quite bad here. Definitely gonna just throw the thunder punch because they will definitely get outpaced to the focus blast. And the thunder punch will do really nice chip damage. Okay. Definitely enough uh, for the blast. Oof, okay. Uh, honestly, they're pretty close to sky attack range. Uh, but gonna go into lantern. And gonna throw the uh, thunderbolt. And able to faint it. Okay, and they come back into him on top. This is looking really good right now. They're gonna have to uh, stone edge or... Okay, interesting play here. I think I'm committing to the... Um, Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter here because they have the Sky Attack anyway, so that, that makes sense. And able to take out uh, the hit on top. Very nice play. All right, and that's going to be the end of the battles. Uh, some really nice battles there. And I'm going to leave there. If you like to do it, don't like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.